In the Qing Dynasty, when Prince grew up, he must move out to the Forbidden City and lived in his mansion. Unfortunately, the prince didn't own the property. He only was allowed to live in this mansion. The properties were owned by Nei Wufu, Imperial Household Department. The Imperial House- Household Department had the right to get the mansion back and give it to other prince. But Qian Di wasn't allowed to give other prince. Qian Di was the mansion that the emperor lived before he inherited the throne. The emperor Kangxi inherited the throne when he was a little kid. He didn't have chance to have mansion outside the Forbidden City. So he didn't have Qian Di. The Emperor Yongzheng inherited the throne when he was 44. Before moved into the Forbidden City, he and his family members lived in Yongwang Fu, Prince Yong's mansion. The Emperor Qianlong also was born in this mansion. In 1725, the third year of Yongzheng's time, Prince Yong's mansion was changed to Yonghe Gong, Palace of Peace and Harmony. When Qianlong became the emperor, he formally changed here to Lama Temple. Today, people still visit Yonghe Gong to beg the Buddha to bless them. The Emperor Qianlong moved into the Forbidden City with his father in 1722. Before 17 years old, Qianlong lived in Yuqinggong, Yuqing Palace. Yuqing Palace was built in Kangxi's time for the Crown Prince Yingreng. Started from Yongzheng, Qing Empress didn't publicly promoted the crown prince. Yuqing Palace still was used as the residential palace for young prince. Hongli and Fu Cha married in 1727. Yong Zheng let them live in the Le Shan Tang. Hongli and his family members lived in Le Shan Tang until he became the emperor. Because Le Shan Tang was considered as Hongli's personal residential palace, Qianlong treated Le Shan Tang as his Qian Di and changed the name to Chonghua Gong. The emperor Jia Qing, Dao Guang, and Xian Feng inherited the throne when they are grown up. But they didn't have personal mansions outside the Forbidden City. The Emperor Tongzhi was Xianfeng's only son, so he lived with his mother until he inherited the throne at age 5. The Emperor Guangxu was born in Chunqing Wangfu, Prince Chun's mansion. The Prince Chun's mansion, Southern Mansion, was Qianlong's fifth son, Yongqi's mansion. Because in the Qing Dynasty, royal titles should be degraded one level, then passed to next generation. So, when Yongqi's first rank prince title passed to Zai Jun, he only was a fourth rank prince. In Dao Guang's time, the Imperial Household Department required Zhai Jun to turn back his mansion and give this mansion to Dao Guang's seventh son, the future Prince Chen of the first rank. After Guang Xu became the emperor, the fr- Prince Chen's mansion became Guang Xu's Qian Di. 
Prince Chun and his family members were not allowed to live in this mansion anymore. Cixi gave Prince Chun a new mansion. Now we call this mansion Prince Chun's Mansion, Northern Mansion. When Prince Chun passed away, his title directly passed to his son, Zai Feng, who was the biological father of Pu Yi. So when Pu Yi became the emperor, Prince Chun's Mansion. Northern Mansion also became Qianli. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.